Example number 555,323,252 why body positivity and fat acceptance is in fact hurting society and people directly. <laughs> My name is Alan Roberts. Thank you for tuning in. Please do share this video as well as all my videos. Check out the links in the pin comment below, description box below, or the bio up above. You can get our coaching there where we have daily communication, weekly video conferences. We help hold the person accountable and help them build the healthy habits that are outlined in our new book, Beyond Willpower, The Hunger Management Method, which you can get at the same links. It is an outline of the methodology we have used to help control my binge eating disorder. I am a year and 11 months past my last binge, but also how we use it for all of our clients. We focus on satiation, satisfaction, appropriate fitness level activity. The person should never feel like they're on a diet. We focus on healthy lifestyle habits, such as proper hydration, proper stress relief, proper sleep, those sorts of things. With the book, you also get the app for a month. You get the hunger management support group. You get live and pre-recorded classes taught by my incredible wife, and you get to message me directly with any questions. So please do check those links out. Looking forward to having you on the app. Now, I have said for years that the acceptance of morbid obesity, fat acceptance, and body positivity is hurting society. It is massively increasing our burden of chronic illness and disease on our healthcare system, which you would think after the last three years would be something we actually fucking fight against, uh, but is also hurting individuals. As you can see by this woman. My money don't jiggle jiggle. However, my thighs and my belly do. So, uh... There's that. Who is clearly reveling in being fat as fuck. Oh my gosh, you look fat in that shirt. Well, the thing about that is I was fat before I put on the shirt. That woman is clearly unhealthy. And the problem is society has lied to her. People like Tess Holliday, Lizzo, influencers. We actually call these women influencers and many, many, many others and pretend that they're not influencing people to be unhealthy when they themselves are like 300 pounds like Lizzo and 400 plus pounds like Tess Holliday and many, many, many others. Society in the last five years has propped these people up at a time when you would think that we would be trying to get people healthy because of, you know, crazy shit that's happened the last three years. At a time you would think we were trying to get people healthy. No, no, no. We're making it so that anytime anybody mentions how being fat is bad for you, these fucking influencers' heads twist right the fuck off and they claim some sort of phobia when in fact it is hurting society and people. This woman is convinced that she's perfectly fine when she is clearly physically and mentally ill. And I say mentally because you gotta be fucking crazy to continue to eat yourself into ill health and immobility knowing that it is going to be bad for you, knowing you are shortening your life. you got to be mentally fucking ill. Not to mention the fact that being fat as fuck does cause neuroinflammation, which does lead to cognitive fucking behavioral issues. But that's a whole other, you know, 20 videos I've made. The reality of it is, is us propping fat acceptance and body positivity up as positives in society is in fact hurting people. It is convincing people that they can be fat as fuck and be perfectly fine. If you want to be fat as fuck and know you're unhealthy as fuck and you're probably not going to live all that long and what you're doing to yourself on a daily basis is in fact unhealthy and you are hurting yourself, that is one thing. But we've got so many people pretending that it is not actually unhealthy. That is a real fucking issue. You jump the shark when you make it so it seems like it's not a matter of actual fucking health. You completely start hurting people in society when you have very susceptible, weak-minded, physically, emotionally audience that you are telling, don't worry about people telling you to lose weight. You're fine just the way you are. No, they are fucking not. The woman at the vi beginning of this video is not fine. She's probably got another five or 10 years of very painful fucking existence left and she's going to die. And fat acceptance and body positivity are the fucking killers. It is a goddamn death cult. And we as society should fucking do something about it right goddamn now. But instead... We have mainstream media and social media propping these up. And you fat people want to know why? Because they're making money off you. You're literally the cash cows. You are literally the cows that they are cashing in on. They get, social media and mainstream media, tons of ad revenue from all the fast food and highly processed food items that you guys gorge yourselves with to, in fact, get yourself to a state of ill fucking health, which is morbid obesity. Because even if just for gravity and the size of your heart not changing, you are unhealthy when you add hundreds of fucking extra pounds. Your heart has to work extra hard and your joints are screaming to fucking stop it. It is unfucking healthy. The social media and mainstream media people, they get money from the food companies that you are gorging yourself with. So you will eat more. They are going to prop you up because you, they're making money off you. They also get tons of money from pharma, which most fat fucking people are on tons of pharma. And if you're not now, you're fucking gonna be. 
Statistically speaking, if you're 300 pounds, you're going to be on a lot of fucking pharma. A lot of it. If nothing else, I would imagine the prevalence of these people being on antidepressants is fucking radically high. And I mean radically, radically high. Fat acceptance and body positivity is in fact hurting society. It is hurting individuals and hurting society. For our public health officials to not be talking about obesity is a problem. But when you consider that most of them are in the pocket of pharma... You have your fucking explanation why. You people are going to actually tell me that in the last three years, there was no focus on actually getting healthier and losing fucking weight when early on in 2020, we absolutely fucking knew that being fat as fuck was indeed a high risk factor. And instead of it being told to people, explained to people that you should lose weight for your health to not pressure the healthcare system, which is predominantly clogged by fat people to begin with, but for the last three fucking years... Instead of us looking at it and being like, hey, we've got a new novel virus. It's bad on elderly people and fat people. We should warn elderly people and fat people. No, no, no. We've propped fat people up to make it seem like some kind of crime if you call them fat. Like, we have it so that we really are protecting fat people from being called fat. And it being pointed out that it's unfucking healthy when we all fucking know it. Wake the fuck up, people, because fat acceptance and body positivity is, in fact, hurting society and individuals. God damn.